Good morning, everyone. It's 7 a.m. Friday, August the 23rd. I'm Anne Marie Green, and here's a look at some of the stories grabbing our attention. Right now, a truly unprecedented moment in American history at the DNC. Vice President Kamala Harris became the first woman of color to accept the presidential nomination for a major political party. We're going to have all the highlights for you from her speech. Meantime, Donald Trump hopes to get a major boost from Robert F. Kennedy Jr. today. Could a possible endorsement help or hurt his bid for the White House? Plus, how the Harris campaign is responding. Dramatic video shows a volcano erupting in Iceland again for the sixth time since December. We're going to have a closer look coming up. This is the CBS Morning News. We begin with a history-making night on the last day of the Democratic National Convention with Vice President Kamala Harris officially accepting her party's nomination for president. Harris is the first black and South Asian woman to accept the presidential nomination for a major political party. And as the vice president took the stage, she saw a sea of female delegates wearing all white, a nod to women's suffragists who fought and won the right to vote more than 100 years ago. In a passionate and fiery speech, the former prosecutor laid out her case to defeat former President Donald Trump in the election that's just now 74 days away. With this election has a precious fleeting opportunity to move past the bitterness, cynicism, and divisive battles of the past, a chance to chart a new way forward. Just imagine Donald Trump with no guardrails. And how he would use the immense powers of the presidency of the United States. Not to improve your life, not to strengthen our national security, but to serve the only client he has ever had himself. I promise to be a president for all Americans. You can always trust me to put country above party and self. I accept your nomination to be president of the United States. Well, a new Gallup poll shows Harris's favorability has grown 13 percent among Democrats and independent voters since becoming the presidential nominee. So joining me now for a full recap of last night uh, is CBS News chief election and campaign correspondent Robert Costa. So, Robert, what we had heard about the speech uh, earlier yesterday was that it was going to allow Kamala Harris to introduce herself to Americans who still don't really know her story. And one of the things that people said they wanted to hear more is about her policy. What will America look like should she become the president? Is that what we heard? 